Hello, Serge here from the back porch on a beautiful day. And we got a really good question since I have the clipboard here. And it comes from Horse Pilot. And he asked, Serge, I was interested in how you evaluate a teaching change in juxtaposition to the swing surgisms that it must follow a biomechanical blueprint. I historically have always followed the square to square swing thoughts. If you are familiar with these techniques, please opine. I especially wonder about the curling under of the grip and the left side dominant swing. Well, just to make sure that I understand what juxtaposition is definitely saying so that I can answer this correctly, I looked it up and to, juxta to juxtapose means besides or to put side by side. So he wants me to evaluate both of them. So let's talk about the square to square. It was a swing theory that, that, is, that uh, became Vogue and I in around the middle uh, of the 70s and I ran into it in uh, my PGA Business School 1 when I was uh, going through the PGA Apprentice program. And uh, as he mentions in here about does it follow a mechan mechanical blueprint a biomechanical blueprint that is which is actually the key here because we know that our body has a design and the key the problem with square to square it does not follow a biomechanical blueprint and simply put we know that if we stand here and and we just swing our arms back and forth if I if I swing either or both together they rotate basically from a square position in front of the body which would be square to the body and perpendicular to the ground. They rotate thumbs up to thumbs up. That's where we get our concept of in the catcher's mitt and up the tree. Or as we actually fully say, in the catcher's mitt, toe up, lift the club in the catcher's mitt, toe up, then up the tree to the vertical swing. So from a backward view, that would look like here's my aiming line, my toe line. If I take in my takeaway and I, and I rotate my arms properly, thumbs up, and with a club in my hand, toe up, we have a slight rotation of the, of the forearms which rotates, which rotates the club to toe up and then lift straight up the tree. Conversely, that happens in the follow through where once we square up the impact, we, we also go again, thumbs up, toe up, and swing up the tree to the finish where we recoil and relax. So, the arms are connected to the shoulders in a ball and socket joint. They rotate. The whole unit rotates. There's no wrist cock in the swing. As you know, the, the definition of the, of the surge swing is a three-quarter limited turn swing. There's no wrist cock, no wrist break. That's how we stay three quarters. What happens is rotation. And when we get into a, into a very you know, dynamically balanced and athletically ready and we swing up, the rotation and the lift where we go in the mitt and up the tree and lift gives the appearance of wrist cock, but there is none. It's an optical illusion. So what does square to square say? Square to square says you take the club away, keeping the club face square to the aiming line. So you take it away at this point, square to the aiming line. As I think, as you can see right off the bat, it leaves the back arm high and, and above the forward arm and keeping the club square. At some point, I cannot keep lifting this club up and hit a golf ball unless all I'd be doing is doing this and be pushing the ball to the... And it's going to go nowhere. So at this point, from there, you have to eventually what? You have to get that club head above these hands. And what do you get there? You get a wrist cock and a flip. And the club goes up. And very likely, as, as it flips, because the body in motion stays in motion, direction it was put in motion, it will tend to flip and just keep going on that angle, which is going to get us laid off and very likely deep because it's going to, the weight and momentum of the club going that way will help. Uh, likely pull the arms and shoulders more and get again as we say deep in the sacred burial ground that's everything behind the toe line and deep so we gotta we're gonna have to have a major flip so a it violates your anatomical design because it's absolutely 100 percent the opposite of rotation that the arm is designed to do in the ball and socket joint and therefore a major correction has to be made about a third to halfway up the backswing to finally get the club above the hand so we can get at least enough lift to, 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 for the arms to come up to be able to have a, a backswing that will have a reasonable downswing to generate some power. So with those two issues, it defies, number one, the biomechanics of the way the arms are designed to rotate in a ball and socket joint and to swing in pure lift. And secondly, it's going to cause us to get laid off and likely deep. Taking those two things into into consideration, I think it's obvious that square to square is not the optimum way or any, uh, for that matter, really, even a reasonable way to consider playing golf. 
because you're defying your anatomical design, which can lead to a uh, high degree of error, which is going to mean more poor bad shots. And, and secondly, it's going to very likely have a good probability of leading to a high degree of strain, which can lead to tension, stress, and strain equals pain and start giving you some physical problems. So as far as, as, far as that system goes, square to square, I think, violates the biomechanics and therefore puts us in, a, in an undesirable position to play successful golf from. So if you want to keep playing good golf, it's in the catcher's mitt and up the tree and, and keep the club vertical. Three-quarter limited turn, vertical backswing, surge swing, do that, and you'll be hitting it more solid, straight, and longer, and be hitting uh, better shots and shooting lower scores. Well, that's it for the search for today, and I'll be talking to you all again soon.